Hello everybody, this is the Villager Smith here once again, and today we have a random mysterious temple right here in the middle of nowhere. Um, so let's see what happens. So I kind of apologize for this door color. I've been watching a little bit too much Legend of Korra, you know, Avatar, <coughs> and water, earth, fire, and air. In case you didn't, in case you didn't get that. So. Basically, it is a 2x2 two two door, but that's not really the impressive thing. The amazing thing about this door is how it looks like when it opens. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Ooh. I mean, that looks... There's an amazing opening sequence. So this looks to be like a mysterious temple. And uh, No, it's, it's a cafe. you kidding me. you kidding me. Let's see. At least, like, I hope the food's decent. Fish and chips. Okay, that's it. I swear to God, one day I will burn this place down. Alright, guys. Uh, um, kind of. I'm really sorry about that. Um, so, let's go ahead and take a look at the redstone that goes into this design. Oh, whoops. Uh, so, yeah. You can see that it's working. So, this is what it looks like. I mean, it's really compact. It's only three blocks deep or whatever I don't know three blocks wide I guess and then six blocks across and then six blocks down well actually I had to expand this to seven blocks just because of uh, to maintain the same sequence of opening and closing there you go it, look, it looks really cool though and so let's go ahead and see what's happening I mean, it, this is really, really simple. Basically, there's our input block, and this redstone right here is diverted into three ways. Into this piston first. Actually, no. Into this piston first. And then, since this one is on a delay of one tick, it uh, extends after this one does. And then, the same thing with this one. And then, the signal moves down to this repeater and this piston and so you can see that right now just like that and then here are the resources needed and uh, I just want to clarify that this is just to make this thing right here you will obviously need a lot more of whatever block you're using just to cover it up and to make it look nice kind of like that and so yeah basically these four blocks right here are your door blocks you'll need four repeaters four sticky pistons I don't know why that's five but you will need four of them and some iron blocks uh, that those are the blocks that I'll be using you can use whatever you want again and then you know you'll need some redstone dust and one half slab so let's get on with actually building the thing so I just want to tell you guys how I'm going to be doing this i will just be using blocks uh, I mean sorry I'll start off with the placement of the pistons and their blocks and then uh, hopefully I'll get to the redstone without messing something up and uh, I just wanted to make a point. If you guys want to skip this, I'll probably put a time link where you guys can forward to. But I wanted to talk about something first. I looked up a 2x2 two two spiral door in Minecraft 1.7. As you can see, I am in Minecraft 1.7. And I found a few results for 2x2 two two spiral doors. But most of them were like humongous. Like, like really big. Like bigger than this. And so I just want to say that I am very happy that I was able to find make one that was really compact and you know with such an amazing looking opening and closing sequence. So I did find one that was actually a little bit more compact than this one was. I think it was like one block smaller. But uh the problem with that was that well first of all it was taller, but uh second of all the opening sequence was really ugly and it was too slow to see the thing. That's the only reason why I really like this design. I'm not trying to be arrogant or anything, but, you know, just saying. Just saying. It's so fun to do this. Now that I've wasted enough time, let's uh, actually start the tutorial. So basically, three blocks in, you want to place your first block kind of in the middle, I guess, I would say. So yeah, one, two, three. It's going to be right in the middle. That's going to be our first block right there. This one will actually open up last. But you can actually adjust that. I forgot to mention. 
if you change the timings and everything, you can actually change which block opens first and which one opens last. Mm. Okay, so let's see. Right here, I think. That should be our next block. Lapis Lazuli. And then, three, three blocks up. Sticky Piston facing down. And then, the green block. Yeah, I mean, you can obviously use whatever kind of, what is it, color pattern you want. That's really up to you. So, let's go ahead and add that. And, break those, we don't need those. So, in case you're wondering, this redstone block actually won't really interfere with any of our redstone. So, yeah, that's not really important at all. So, basically, oh, dang it. Sorry, guys, I put that one block forward more than it should be. The our piston should be there. Really sorry about that, guys. So, snow block here. Oh, so many mistakes. And let's see what do we need next. One, two, three. And then sticky piston facing down. Uh, emerald block. And then from here, I'm going to have one, two, three. And then sticky piston in this direction with a redstone block on top. And break those. And so this is actually what it should look like. There should be a, like you should be able to go up three blocks, like one, two, three, and then you should reach the next one. It should be the same way for all of the pistons, so just double check that. It's a little bit confusing, I know. And so basically the next part is we're going to be working on this redstone segment here. So basically think about this when you're making it. You should kind of have it like this, and then... I, uh, <laughs> sorry guys, it's really vague. Something like these two blocks right here and then try to have them connect up to a center two blocks and then from here you bring that down and then actually this one right here needs to be a half slab for later on so that uh, we can actually bring this redstone down or so that actually this redstone right here does not get cut off and will continue to move down so I know that's a little bit hard to understand so I'll just show you guys right now uh, and wait a minute actually don't have a lever I mean not a lever a uh, half slab so let me just grab one from there and so don't want to hit my head there so just basically connect all this redstone now if you'd like to make the opening sequence a little bit more visual you can change this redstone dust here to a repeater on one tick and then this one right here which we're about to add here you can change that to a repeater on two ticks but I prefer to have a faster opening sequence simply because you can still see the uh, the opening sequence very well and you know it still looks nice um, so what was I saying oh yeah right here repeater on one tick of delay and then right here we can uh, sorry guys I accidentally keep breathing into the mic let me move it a little bit hopefully that's better for you guys and so <coughs> this part right here is gonna be a little bit tricky kind of you wanna have a redstone dust here and then get down in here and place redstone dust here so just like that And then, on the side of this, you want to have a repeater going into that sticky piston, sticky piston, on, uh, oh, oops, two ticks of delay. And then, from here, redstone dust, moving down, and then repeater facing into that on three ticks. Now, again, just to emphasize, if you were to add, change this to a repeater, this one would be on two ticks, that one would be three ticks, and the one on the bottom would, would be uh, four ticks. 
And so we are actually done right now. I think so. What happened here? Oh, right, right. So basically, the redstone dust from here won't actually move down. So we are going to actually have to do that ourselves. So let's go ahead and add those right there. And we will need to have blocks up here. And a block here and here. So we can just add redstone dust going down. And that should be done. So there you go. Looks really nice. And now the next step would be obviously to fill in your floor. I'll show you guys some, uh, I don't know, something that looks a little bit better than, I don't know, just putting solid blocks all around. Now just be careful of not to cut that redstone off right there. Sorry guys, there's a lighting glitch. Don't cut that redstone off. And you could actually just place blocks right there, which is what I would actually do. So unfortunately, the design is not flush. That'd be really difficult to do to get a flush 2x2 two two spiral door. Hopefully, I'll I'll try to get that. I'll try to make one. So there you go. Looks really nice. And so what I was talking about was some aesthetic tips. So go ahead, add something like this. Just going all the way around. And then you can place... I don't know. I just really like the look of the stone slabs and the iron blocks. In my opinion, double stone slabs probably look like the best in default texture pack. So look at that. Very, very nice looking. Kind of gives it that vault look. Vault look. Um, hmm. Sorry, guys. I apologize for my monotone voice while recording. Don't really know why I do that. Hmm. So yeah, something like that. This is what it should look like. It looks very nice, I would say. So, so hopefully you guys enjoyed the tutorial, and um, I'll see you guys later. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. I mean, I do have like a very small amount of subscribers, as you can probably tell. Me and Hamad would really appreciate it if I mean, Hamad is my cousin. In case you guys didn't know, uh, we'd really appreciate it if you guys left a like or subscribed if you could. And um, if you do use this um, anywhere, um, please do give us a shout out. Like, I'm not going to sue you for copyright or anything like that, but it would really help to get our channel out there. I mean, we only have like 15 subscribers. So that's enough of me ranting about. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial on this quick little 2x2 two two spiral door. And I will see you guys later. Goodbye.